Hey YouTube, in this video we're showing you how we fix the rust in our van. It's a 1980 Toyota Hiace and neither of us had done anything like this before. All the information we got was basically off the internet and the products themselves. So keep in mind when you're watching this, we're not professionals. But we're really happy with how it turned out and we hope that if you find yourself in a similar situation, this video might help you. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, so the first step is to get rid of as much of that flaky outer rust as possible. We used a wire brush attachment for our drill to grind it all away. For the places that were a little bit hard to reach, we also used a screwdriver to chip away at the rust. However you do it, just make sure you get as much of that brittle rust off as possible, otherwise it might break off when you're applying the filler and that might mean that you don't get that really smooth finish. After that we used coarse, fine and extra fine sandpaper, one after the other, to sand away those areas. The reason for the different textures is to feather out the existing paint so that when we repaint you hopefully won't be able to tell. After sanding, make sure you clean those areas really well. Once you've done that, use a brush to paint on your rust converter. It's really important to be super thorough here. Make sure you get in all those nooks and crannies and coat all of the rust. Yay, now for the fun part. There's heaps of different filling products on the market. This is just what was suggested to us by staff at our local auto store. All the instructions were laid out on the container and it really wasn't hard to follow at all. You basically just mix two substances together to activate the product and using a spatula slowly but firmly apply thin layers of the filler to the rust areas. This will ensure that you're working out any air pockets that may have formed during the mixing process. You'll have about 5 to 10 minutes to shape the filler before it starts to set. Once you're happy with the look and the shape of the filler, leave it to dry for about half an hour before coming back and sanding it until it's nice and smooth. Finally, after all your hard work, you're ready to prime and paint. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on all of our progress. Also, you can follow us on Instagram at The Cabin Camper.